Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review slash um, first impression. First impression? No. Review on this BB Sense Magic BB Cream 5 in 1 Skin Perfecting um, BB Cream. This is a lightweight creamy formula with a smart pigment. Smart. Did she? Did she actually know? Pigment which transform on contact with the skin. 5 in 1 un Unify hydrates, protect smooth and illuminate to for a perfect nude look. Weightless spare skin sensation. This have a uh, fragrance in it. Like there's an ingredient that's like perfume slash fragrance. Other than that, most of the like important ingredients like the um antioxidants are below like phenocyc uh phenol if they which is a preservative which I think there's a regulation that you can't use more than 1% of it so if it's below that you know that there's less than 1% of the product is antioxidants not overall but the um, amount of antioxidant there is like below 1% so let's test this out so to prime with our skin I will use the elf primer which shocker right I found this to be like one of the best primers on the market it doesn't make me oilier but it gives me like this smooth like canvas to work on so now I will apply this like shake it. It's a 13 ml bottle. I will use like this thing and I will take. So it's white with some dots there. You can smell the perfume. So I'll be using a buffing brush. Just take some and just dot it on. It smells like uh like hair like shampoo, it smells like that's what it smells like. Which somewhat concerns me if you are sensitive to like scents or sensitive to uh you have sensitive skin, sensitive to fragrance would not recommend this to you because it smells really strong despite it's like not really that high up on the like ingredient list it's in the middle higher up than some of the good ingredients like vitamin E vitamin B the fake abstract mm -hmm. So L'Oreal isn't cruelty free so This is not a cruelty free product It definitely cover like gives a tint to my skin. Mm. So this is like color changing, like it matches your skin, kind of like a foundation or like a BB cream. So I like that it's in a squeezy to where you can like squeeze a little to give yourself a small amount and or you can like squeeze quite a bit out to cover I think it does cover a lot of the redness on my skin 
So I will smooth it out with a sponge. I've wore this for like not a long period of time just to test out how light this is but this is really light this is making me look really unprepared they have four shades in this in Australia they have um, light, light medium light tan medium and a green one which I know it's a BB cream but I'm like when I hear tan it's like oh it's not for me because when something that's tan they always look orange on me but now I look like a ghost and it's not my shade okay let's see definitely really smooth very luminous looking very light on the skin. I can still smell the foundation, the BB cream. I don't feel like I need any concealer as well because it's hiding everything. Quite full coverage. So let's set our face. Using the Fit Me powder. Like color changing products, they are fun to use, but definitely this is really not my shade. It's way peachier than my skin. After setting this, it looks like um, very like when you set a really watery foundation and then there's some imprint there. Not uh, imprint as in you, you stamp the powder, but you can see the where the powder sits. Like it really sits on the foundation. And let's. So that we don't look like we are trying to be really light. I'm using the um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Sometimes using a bigger brush they diffuse the product like more gently and you get that really subtle kind of a bronze look but today I I want something that's more dramatic so I will use the Too Faced blush I want a lot of color on my skin so this is like the third um, L'Oreal kind of like foundation that I've tried. I've tried the uh, Pro Matte, which I did not like. I've tried the uh, Total Coverage one, which I love. And this one, I'm on the fence. I'm using the ABH brow dip brow gel in the shade Ebony. This fills my brows nice and quick and easy if you have a lot of brow. Or you can fill them like use a pencil to fill in your brows first and then give use the dip brow gel to give you texture. And then I will set my brows using a clear brow gel from ABH. <coughs> to set my face, I will use the Base Fix Setting Spray from Makeup Revolution. So 
let's look at the things. So I feel like this is more like a foundation that where you just need something to cover up your skin that you just apply this on and that would be the use case of this foundation. It definitely does cover up all the redness. Not all but most of my redness right now. I like that when foundation they are like luminous despite you set them. That's something that I really like. It really smooth the skin out as well it doesn't leave you a lot of texture which the Australis one does give me more texture and it feels dry because of the alcohol I think we will see and I will be back later let's see the time so the time now is 8.02 so I will see you 4 o'clock That's so early I haven't finished my makeup in so early No, that's a lie I will see you at 4 p.m. later today And we will see how this wears Bye for now, see you soon 4.43 So it's been more than a little bit more than eight hours. Let's see the foundation and how it's doing. I've like spray a uh, setting spray only once. I've sprayed the may not the color pop misting hydrating mist on my skin because I was packing stuff and there's a lot of like dust on my face and I I was like very very itchy which never I just spray it once not that it's dry it's just very itchy on my skin so it doesn't look bad when it's far but up close it's caking around and it's patching off around my nose area It doesn't feel dry. It's really glowy as well. So let's see how is it doing. So no, there's no foundation coming off. There's some oil. Which is, I don't think there's like a lot of oil here on the forehead But I, like for some reason the nose is just really very weird looking For some reason it looks dry, you can see it really sets It's a bit weird I think Okay, let's see how oily this is. So some foundation came off the nose area. The crease. This is the oiliest area I think on my face and a lot of foundation came off. Let's see the chin. So this is the chin. There's some foundation patching off. There's some patching off on the top of my lips, but there's not a lot. Let's see how other area is doing. So overall, I don't think this is like, I look very oily, it's, 
if you look up really closely on my skin which the camera doesn't show I can see like my texture like the foundation I set with a powder and then the powder leaves with like some crease on my skin like it set in with like the texture of my skin so it looks a little bit crepey under my eyes and it's not doing well on my nose it looks not good and it looks really grey around this area it's so my eyes feel tight here but the other place on my face it feels nice I didn't wear mascara so I don't know how this will like smudge them around my under eyes but I feel like this foundation definitely needs uh, under eye concealer because it's not looking good under my eyes and I think like something I need something else for my nose as well overall looking really up close like nobody is looking that close to like most people will be looking at, at least a foot or like two feet away one and a half feet away from you like if they're that close to you I'm like no who are you but like for real like the perimeter of my face looks good it's the center where it's like drying down in a weird way where it there is like a uh, you can see my pores on my T-zone area you can see like my pores you don't see a lot of pores but you see a lot of texture Ugh, yikes like the recent two foundation that I've tried the Australis one and the BBSS magic magic PBS cream 5 in 1 perfector these ones are nice not like not nice as in like oh they're fine as in nice as in like they do their job but they don't excel in their job which is like okay they do their job they don't do bad things but they're not great like they are they pass like they're C C like they're passing grades like they got 50% they are, they passed their job but it's not they're not like perf they're not getting A's or B's and I don't feel like they are great and especially with only like four shades and one being a green corrector shade this one feels more like it, it, as the name suggests it's just a skin perfecta it's like something that you wear it and then it's like your skin but better not not like it's easy cream your skin but better it's like your skin but better it's like mm, we will put something on and you will look like mm, look like this it, it, it really did the job of like just being a foundation like I want something more I want that it doesn't do that under eye thing where very thin foundation does on my eyes some foundation they look really like they the pores just absorbs everything like this does it on my forehead the like L'Oreal total coverage one is way better than this one so it's like another flaw foundation from like a base product from L'Oreal mm, like the, the, I, I, I think that high end does better a better job at like doing foundation because they just they just like it's not necessarily about more expensive it's more of like it has the shade range it works that the formula doesn't just suck as much sometimes like 
Two Face does a really great job with their like foundation ring, not range, but with their like foundation formula. Like, um, the hourglass is really great as well. Like that's the one that I always use. The um, Makeup Revolution their foundation is just excellent, great. But these are like a, these are slightly more expensive when they're like at the normal par price and when they're cheaper they're still expensive more expensive than the uh, Micro Revolution one but they don't work as well like these two they don't do a great of a job as like the Micro Revolution one they just don't compete with them so overall I feel like this one it's like meh well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let's do that. And click the bell notification button to get all the notifications when I launch a video. Bam. I know it's 2015, but... <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have fun with your like holiday season, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.